Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you how to make tracer rounds for your ACS gun in Roblox Studio. So basically tracer rounds are little bullets that give a light effect so that you can see in what direction the bullet goes. Alright now as you can see uh, now I'm testing out the gun that we're gonna be making in this video. When I shoot the, uh, as you can see, the red things are the tracer bullets. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you exactly how to make this. So now to begin, obviously, we're going to have to set up a ACS system, which is really easy. If you've seen some of my previous videos, uh, you'll know exactly how to do it. Anyways, I'll, uh, I'll be demonstrating it anyways for people who don't know. So first thing that you're going to want to do is insert ACS from the toolbox. Just search up ACS in the search bar and then click the first one that comes up there we go so when as you see uh, once you've clicked it there's gonna be a folder called ACS 1.5 no 1.7.5 official release open that folder and as you see it says ungroup in replicated storage ungroup in server script service etc etc so what you're going to want to do is select every full, every model and then ungroup them where it tells you to. So for example, this one says ungroup in replicated storage. I'm going to drag it all the way and, and drop it into replicated storage and then ungroup it by pressing control and U at the same time. Same thing for server script service and then for all the rest of the models. All right, so tools. These are some guns that the that uh, the ACS pack gives you already. Uh, these, if you want to use, if you want to uh, put tracers on these, it'll work on any gun. It'll work, but for my example, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use uh, a World War II gun called the MG42. So to get this gun, I'm gonna search up this name in the in the search bar. Spidery. I don't. I'm not sure how to pronounce that but first one that comes up now and then you'll see a user that has made uh, multiple World War II ACS packs so I'm gonna insert the German pack there we go and as you see it will give me a folder in there it says tools server and client so first of all I'm gonna put in the tool I'm gonna open tools and search whatever gun I want example this is so in my case it's the mg42 i'm going to drag it and put it in starter pack then i'm going to delete the rest and then we have server and client so for this open the acs engine folder under replicated storage and then open the gun model models fold folder not the gun mods the gun model folder open it and then you'll see as client and server so let's delete this we don't need it first of all let's delete that because we don't need it uh, first of all we're gonna open the client folder get the gun that we would like and put it into the client folder under replicated storage and then the same thing for the server folder we're gonna get the one gun that we want and then paste it in the server folder in replicated storage just as easy as that and then once we've done that last step is to set your game avatar to r6 do that you can just go in, uh, into game settings publish the game then go back into game settings and then click on avatar and then you'll find r6 just select r6 and then you're good so I already have it set to r6 uh, so basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test the game to see if the gun works already and as you can see once everything is loaded the gun works except that you can't really see where the bullets are going because the bullets are invisible which for me would be quite boring because I would like to see where my bullets where the bullets are going and uh, and where the bullets of other players are going too. 
So to begin, let's stop testing, let's stop, uh, stop uh, running the game. And the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is go under starter pack. And then we're gonna find the gun that we are using. So in my case, it's the MG42. Open up the gun and open up the next folder and the next folder after that. Until, uh, and then until at the end, you'll have a script that says settings. And then once you're, when, and then once you open this script, uh, you're gonna go all the way down to line 86. So here is a tracer section. So here's what we're gonna work with. So first of all, tracer equals true. Make sure this is set to true. If it's set to false, then it won't work. The tracer color. Here you can set the color to whatever you want. For uh, for me, I'm gonna use the red color for this video. Tracer light emission, that's the light that it's gonna emit from the tracer. That how much that's how much light is going to be emit from the tracer. We're just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at one. Tracer light influence, I'm gonna set it at one too. I'm gonna set it at one also. Tracer lifetime, this is how long the tracer is going to be visible for. I'm going to set that to 1 also. Then tracer width. This is basically how big the tracer is going to be. I'm going to set it to 1 as well. If it's if it's any more up up if it's any more bigger than 5, then you'll see that it's going to be a bit bulky and weird and ugly, so we're just going to leave it at 1. Random tracer. Set, uh, I'm going to set that to true. And then tracer every x shots means after how many shots you're going to see a tracer. So if you set it to three, that means every three shots, there's going to be a tracer shot. So instead of three, we're going to set that to one so that every shot will be a tracer shot. And then tracer chance, make sure that's at 100. So basically that's all you have to do. So let's go in the game and test it. All right, so once we uh, load it in, we're going to select the, select the gun. And as you see, If I start shooting, you'll see these red uh, light emitters coming out of my gun. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice effect and uh, pretty nice detail to add in your game. I honestly really like the way it looks. And so basically, that's the that's that's it for the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. It means the world if you subscribe to me. So subscribe so you can see more videos that, that can help you out like this. That can help you out with the game that you're making or or whatever you're doing on Roblox Studio. Leave a comment if, it, if, if you need help with something, if something didn't work out for you. Leave a comment. I'll do my best to respond to you. Uh, comment below what, what a video you want to see next. If there's something specific that you guys want to see, just comment below. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.